Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and let's get started with the series on JavaScript. Now in the first video we have talked about some great things about JavaScript, right? It's one of the best language available. It can be used to make any kind of application, doesn't matter is it web application, mobile application or desktop application. And you can also use this for machine learning. So awesome, right? And you are waiting to write your first code. And so we don't want to wait, right? I don't want to invest your time. We just want to write our first code here. But the problem is, which code to write? And why do we even write a code? See, the ultimate aim here is to automate things. The ultimate aim here is to solve the real world issues with the help of virtual world solutions. You wanted to text someone, so we got a WhatsApp. You wanted to make a video which will be seen by everyone in the world. We got YouTube, right? So you can use software to build solutions. And the first step to do that is to write a code, right? You need to write some lines of code. And we will start with one of the most basic and most important line of code for any programming language. So it doesn't matter which language you start with, JavaScript, Python, Java, C, C++, the first thing you do is you print hello world. Because if that works, most of the code should work. That's the idea behind hello, running hello world. Now the question arises: where you will write this code, where you will run this code. So basically your computer understands only one language, which is binary, right? So whatever you write has to be converted into binary and someone will do that. It might be a compiler, it might be an interpreter. So these two words are very famous in the world of programming where you have a compiler or you have an interpreter. Now some languages are compiled language. Some languages are interpreted, of course. Again, we'll talk about those two words in detail later. As of now, remember, whatever you write, need to be converted into a machine code. And for that, we need some software. Let's say, let's generalize it as a software. In the world of JavaScript, we can call it as JavaScript engine, right? So if your machine has a JavaScript engine, it will convert your JavaScript code into a machine code. So we can use that. Now the question arises where you will type your code. So we will be using one of the world best editor <laughs> Not exactly, but let's let's try Notepad. So let's use Notepad here and let's write our code. So what we want to achieve is to print hello world, right? The way you can do that is by simply saying hello world. That's it, right? So we are writing this code. Let me just save that on a desktop itself. I will name this as, uh, you can name anything. I will just say first dot JS. Now dot JS is an extension which is used for JavaScript files. As you change your language in, in Java, we say .java, in C, we say .c, in C++, we say .cpp. Uh, so every language have their own extensions. In the same way for JavaScript, we have .js. That's it. We have saved this file, right? But then where you will run this? Now that's tricky. And will this work? Uh, the, see, let's, let's start with the second problem. It will not work actually. If you want to print something with the help of engine, you have to instruct it to print, okay? And the way you can do that is by using a, a thing called as console.log. Now what exactly console.log is and why there are two words, why there's a dot in between, we'll talk about that later, okay? Something we have to, we'll see later, okay? That's something you will, you will hear a lot in this series, <laughs> but that's how the thing works, right? You can't learn each and every word in the first video. So we'll go step by step. Uh, and then you have to put that in double double quotes. Again, why we'll discuss that later. Here, just want to see the output and we are trying to understand how can you run this? Okay, we'll talk about these things in detail later. So as of now, I have a statement which I want to execute and I want to see the output. So this, this thing here will print hello world. But again, the problem is how do you run this? So let me save this. Now, in this machine, do I have a JavaScript engine? So maybe in this machine I have used it, but do you have a JavaScript engine in your machine? What if I say yes? What if I say your machine has a JavaScript engine, but then you have not installed it, right? See, if you have a browser, example, Chrome browser, Microsoft Edge, or Opera, doesn't matter which famous browser I'm talking about, most of the browser has an inbuilt JavaScript engine. Okay, there are some browsers which are, which don't have and nobody uses those browsers. Okay, so we will be using a browser to run this code. So maybe I will not run the entire file. I just want to execute this statement, right? 
So what we can do is we can open any browser which you like. So let me open Chrome here. Now in Chrome, I don't know if you have observed it. So if you right click and if you go to inspect, you will get multiple developer options. So you can see there are so many options here. This is specifically developers, web designers, they use this a lot for seeing the output, to debug the application, to understand what is happening behind the scenes. So we will be using the same thing. And we will be jumping to console. Can you see that? In the code also we have mentioned console.log. So we are logging. So we are writing here on this console. Uh, let me increase the font size so that you can see what is happening. So every browser by default has an engine, right? So we can simply say uh, what we want to do. We want to say console.log. So it will also give you some hints uh, because it is advanced. Since you are learning this in 2021 or later, we have so many options. We have so many intelligence in browsers or in uh, most of the softwares. So it will help you to code. So in this log, I will say, we, I'm writing the same code, okay, which we have done in the notepad. And then once you write a code, you just have to say enter and you can see we got the output. So what you see on the next line is an output. Okay, what else we can do here? We can also add two numbers. We can say two plus two, enter, we got four. So basically you can, this is a place where you can write the entire application. So whatever you want to do, you want to do some complex things, you want to do some simple things, everything can be done here. Okay, but that's the thing. Whenever you make application, irrespective of is it web front end, is it a mobile application or desktop application, it will not be done with only one line of code, right? So here we're writing one line of code and you're getting the output. It's not that we can't reuse those code. We can reuse the data, we can reuse the statement by copy pasting it. But this is not the best place to write a code. One of the places where JavaScript is getting used a lot is to make a web front end. Okay, so maybe if you have done some other course on JavaScript, you might have seen that you can write a JavaScript code inside HTML. And I hope you know HTML CSS. That's a prerequisite for this course. Not initially, but later once we start with uh, making web pages, it will be important. As of now, it's okay even if you don't know HTML and CSS. So the important thing is we are writing a code here, right? But this is not the best place to write a code. So what we can do is we can create an HTML file and we can write a code there. But if you remember the first video I have mentioned, I'm not going away where I will be teaching you JavaScript for web pages. It's a good thing, but not my way of learning a programming language, right? So we'll learn this language on a console, writing the JavaScript as it is, without HTML and CSS. So basically, we don't want to run this on the browser because browser needs, so we have a console here, then otherwise we have to use uh, HTML to see the output and those stuff. I don't even want to touch browser basically. So what if I can run this on a console, on a terminal, example, command prompt. So I will open command prompt, I want to see the output here. How will you do that? Can you run JavaScript on your machine? See, JavaScript has a different history, right? JavaScript was initially built for web. So, you know, a few years back or 10 years back, they were only running JavaScript on browsers. But then something changed, right? We got a new thing where you can run JavaScript on your OS, right? And that is possible with the help of a software called Node.js. So there's a software. So in this machine, I already have Node.js. So I will simply type Node hyphen version. So I will, let me just check, do I have Node on this machine? And the answer is yes. So using this software, I can run the code. So I will say uh, CD desktop. Now on desktop, I have this file, right? So let me just say dir, do I have this file? Yes, I have first.js. Let me run this. I will say node and I will say first.js. And if I say enter, who? We got hello world. Now we don't have to uh, depend upon one line of code. You have a notepad here. You can write any number of lines and it, it will work. Okay, and it will execute in sequence and you will see the output. It doesn't matter, is it one line output, 10 line output, or even errors, right? So you will see everything here. But the problem is, on your machine, you don't have Node. Also, we don't want to use Notepad. We want to use some advanced editors where you can actually see colors, you can actually understand what's happening. Each editor should have option to debug the application and those stuff. And which editor we are going to use? We are going to use one of the best editors of now, which is VS Code. You can use any IDE which you prefer. Maybe you can use Atom, Sublime, those are editors actually. Uh, you can also use advanced software like IntelliJ. We will be using VS Code which works perfectly and it's one of the most famous uh, editors as of now. So we'll use that. 
So in the next video, we'll see how to install VS Code and how to install Node. So that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for other videos. Bye-bye.